You guys know this, we make a lot of videos and a lot of people watch those videos and oftentimes it produces a whole load of comments, sometimes to the tune of 300 or 400,000 comments a month. It's absolutely crazy, but that is the reality of what we do now, a very... A small portion of those comments, and that portion is growing, uh, really involves people who are very angry and oftentimes say very despondent things and actually very irrational things as a result of their emotional state of being. Uh, Lately, as it relates to the Russia news, I have been called an apologist for Putin. I have been called a pro-Russian anti-Ukraine spokesman. I have been uh, called evil, dark, all kinds of other things for simply stating the obvious, and that is the fact that Russia is going to come out of this thing stronger than they did when they came in. Now, a lot of people thought that that was crazy simply because what Putin is doing is absolutely reprehensible, and there is no defense. It is literally indefensible, but the reality of it is we know what is true, and we know what the Bible says. In Ezekiel chapter 38, it speaks of a a leader who is named Gog. He's actually, Gog is a title, uh, presumably the leader of Rosh in the region of Magog, who will be the power and the force that comes against Israel that the international community is too weak to get involved with defending. As a matter of fact, we know that the only defense that Israel will have will be God himself when he intervenes and destroys Russia. So we are not surprised when these things happen. And of course, if you remember, there was a point in time when Putin was beginning to go in a very bad direction with his own political discourse within the internal internal, uh, political mechanisms of Russia. And of course, uh, you have to understand the fact that our very uh, smart uh, president, and I'll just say flashbang for lack of a better term, actually handed complete political victory over to Putin when he made it an issue about the West versus Russia. And so, of course, that's exactly what's going on right now. And now the propagandist, political pundits, as well as the propagandist media is making a declaration that World War III has, in essence, already started. Putin's TV cheerleaders are ranting and raving that the Ukraine... Um, is getting defeated quickly and that the UK and America are going to pay a very heavy price for interfering with what is going to be an inevitable victory in the Ukraine. Shouldn't have said the Ukraine anyway. Sorry about that little correction live on TV. The reality of it is, folks, I said that this would happen because I knew what the biblical precedent is. And we are watching things happen. Matter of fact, we just learned of the city of Sevontetsk. I, I always I butcher the name of that city, which is now under mostly under Russian control. And the former UN humanitarian affairs chief, Jan England, not a very good person, by the way, uh, warned that 12,000 civilians are trapped in that city where there's little to no access uh, to food or water, which is happening all over Russia. Folks are all over Ukraine. Folks, understand something. Understand and know that the Bible never gets it wrong. No matter how evil the situation might seem, we know what the Bible says is going to happen, and we're here. We are approaching the time of the last days. We're not in Ezekiel 38, but the theater for Ezekiel 38 is setting up, and I think the church gets raptured before it happens. So, folks, look up. Jesus is coming soon. Truth is truth, and here it is. God bless you.